Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is How to Reject or Retain a Hypothesis in Statistics. So, if a hypothesis is given, we call that the null hypothesis, which we assume is going to be a true statement. And once we've stated the null hypothesis, we want to actually go out and conduct surveys or conduct experiments in order to build statistics. So if the sample is large enough, then usually we'll obtain a Gaussian distribution for our statistical distribution. So in order to come up with a criteria to decide whether to reject or retain such a hypothesis, one needs to establish what's called the level of significance. So this level of significance can be quantified using a Gaussian distribution where mu is the mean or average value and sigma is one standard deviation in the distribution by choosing some sort of threshold or cutoff. And that's what we're going to call our level of significance. Typically, the level of significance is set at 5%, meaning that if 5% of the results from your survey are in, favor, are in favor of your null hypothesis, this means that it's 5% of the mean value, and this 5% is small enough that this implies that your original null hypothesis cannot be true. So the means by which you choose this cutoff value depend on the experiment or your criteria, but the point is this is a way of quantifying based off of a statistical distribution and collection of data, a threshold for whether you can deem a hypothesis as statistically significant or not. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is how to decide whether to reject or retain a hypothesis in statistics.